What's up, YouTube? It's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd just come out and, well, make a video. Um, so let me give you a little rundown real quick about this project that I worked on and tell you, you know, why we did it or why I did it and um, and then show you what I've done and, and see what you guys think about it. Um, anyways, me and my wife and kids, we leave our camper down in Panama City Beach, Florida. We've done it since the kids were babies. And um, anyhow, we don't get a vacation much, but when we do, you know, we, we like to actually go out on the beach. Well, when you walk out on the beach, you know, um, carrying your stuff from the camper across the road to the beach can be kind of, you know, tiresome. So I told my wife, I said, why don't I try to make a, a electric cart? And I saw a couple videos online that, you know, people took a gorilla cart off of Amazon and turned it into an electric cart. And um, I said, well, hey, I'm going to do that same thing. So that's what I did. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like and see what you thought about it. I've kind of added my own little twerks to it. I'm not through yet. I'm actually planning to do a, a table on the side that you can fold out, put little legs up under it, you know, to have a little table off the side of it. I'm actually also wanting to do a, um, which I don't know, I may not. I'm thinking about doing a, a rack on the back to carry your chairs. But um, you can always just throw them in the car. It's plenty big enough. But anyhow, uh, uh, let me just show you what it looks like and see what you guys think. So, yeah, here's the cart. Um, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see better. Um, but what I got here is... I put everything in loom. I've got a thumb throttle on here that's you know adjustable to make it faster and slower. Got a forward and reverse switch. You can flip that and make it go forwards or backwards. Um, coming on down, I've got myself a headlight. Everything is fused and, and on switches and stuff, but I've got a headlight here that runs on 12 volts. So I've got two systems here, by the way, a 12 volt and a 24 volt system. Down here, I've got a radio, a Powell Marine radio. Uh, built me a box with the welder um, that I could put all of my connections and stuff and actually store a little stuff inside of there as well. I've got an antenna on here for the radio. I actually have a hidden antenna uh, right up under here that I glued onto the side. Uh, but it just didn't pick up as good as I wanted it to. But I think that's just because I'm in this building. It probably would have been fine. Um, anyhow, going on around... I've got a couple of uh, speakers on here, pile speakers. Built me a couple brackets with the 3D printer here to hold them on. Designed them, painted them kind of silver to match up a little bit. I've got a toggle switch on my on my uh, radio here for 12 volts. I've got a toggle switch for the headlight. Toggle switch for you see what says pump, and I'll tell you about that in a second. Got the meter here that shows you your your uh, battery power on your 24 volt system. Got a 12 volt charge port in case you don't want to hook, you know, an actual charger up. You can just plug a 12 volt charger up to it. I've got a port here that says water. If you screw this off, you actually have a threaded uh, connection here that's like that that I actually can hook this uh, hose onto, and you can wrench your feet off or wrench your tools off or whatever you want to do when you're out there at the ocean. Uh, Moving on across, I've got to hurry because my phone don't have a lot of memory. I've only got four minutes left to talk. I've got a key switch to turn it off and on. An inverter for 12, I meant for 120 volts that you can run. Uh, I've got the 350 watt, 24 volt motor with a bicycle sprocket and all on a, on a chain driven axle. I've got a 24 volt charge port here to charge the 24 volt system. I've got a cigarette lighter here that you can use. Yeah, look under here. Uh, I've got a fuse block for the 12 volts. I've got a water pump. You'll see that. And actually right here, I'll show you better, but there's a tank. Holds about two gallons of water. You can turn that on and pump some water out the side. Like I was telling you about earlier. Uh, moving on around. Look down there, you can see the 24 volts worth of batteries that I welded a, a box under the bottom to hold. I don't know if you can see that or not. There they are. Uh, and on the back, I've got the 12 volt battery here, the solar battery. And if you move on around, you'll notice I've got a solar charger. I leave it unhooked right now because it will just kill the battery because it's, there's no sun in here. But it uh, will keep the batteries charged with a solar panel uh, for your 12 volts. That way you don't have to worry about stuff dying if you're out there listening to the radio or whatever. And here's this tank I was telling you about. Uh, I'm going to actually probably remod i thought about just getting an arm that would lay down i kind of like the way this bungee is holding it so i think i'm going to drill right here and get me a shorter bungee 
and just connect it up under the bottom. I kind of like the bungee idea because you want to pull this tank out when you want to put water in it or rinse it out ever so often. So that's what I do with that. Uh, moving on around, like I said, I've got an umbrella holder here that I made on the side that you can tighten these wing nuts up on. And like I said, I want to take a, I think about taking some metal that you can flip out this way that you can actually uh, make you a tabletop with. But, but anyhow, um, oh, I've also got a, a fuse back here on the back that you can kill when you don't want your 12 volts working. Let me see if I can get a little radio to come in real quick before I run out of time. It says, welcome. It's looking for Bluetooth right now. I said, I don't get very good signal in here. Let me go to a station that might pick up. Let's see, 97.3. But, there it is. So you want to listen to some music on the beach? There you go. Hey, we got a little amplifier coming to make it a little stronger. Headlight. If you don't have it, get it. Make sure you download it for free on your phone. iHeartRadio. But anyhow, it's been a fun little project. But like I said, it's been a while since I came back with a video, and I just thought, hey, why not come to you uh, and show you guys, you know, a little bit about. I gotta push that harder. I can't. Gotta do it with two hands. But you know, show you a little bit about a little project. Maybe you might want to work on and and do. It's been a it's been a job, but I. I think it's going to get up and go pretty good. It'll haul me in it. So, But anyways, uh, appreciate you watching the video. I'm going to run on now and see if I can get a little actual work done. So uh, I'll holler at you guys later. Take care.